Y'all got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, how did Tracy end up in my trunk, girl? <laughs> this is another story time from um her right here. She's the one who gave the Miami story time, and y'all like this, so we getting into I this. I already one. know y'all about to dog, let's get it. dog me out, but before y'all dog me out, please allow me to take just a little bit of accountability, just real quick. The moment is taken. I feel like I just took accountability. Now let's move forward, shall we? Even though this what? girl got caught sneaking in my trunk, I must say that I, I didn't provoke, I didn't instigate. But I may or may not have had just a little bit something to do with it. Okay, now that that's out the way, let's move forward. Okay. What? Boomski, let's get into the story time. We'll call her Tracy, short for traumatic Tracy, because the bitch was so traumatic. And that's the reason why I felt like at first we just needed to end the relationship because she was just so traumatic. Everything was just so heavy, and I was getting tired of that. I'm going to give her a cool point, though, before I get into all of that. Um, before we started dating, she was super cool. I felt like she kind of introduced me to somebody that she really wasn't. And it wasn't until we moved in together. We did move in together fairly fast. In the comments, how long does it take y'all to move in with somebody that y'all feeling? I feel like when me and Tracy met, of course, we hit it off. Of course, everything in the beginning is always cookies and candies. Everything is going good. No complaints. We don't really see the flaws. We don't see the issues. We don't see what we can, you know, butt heads. None of that. So, yes, after meeting Tracy, a month later, we moved in together. But let's, let's neither hurt nor that. Let's just keep it on moving, okay? Listen, been there, done that, friend. Worry about yourself. Sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. So boom, you know, and you know when girls like girls, everything moves fast. I don't care what nobody said. It's just like, it's different when you're dating a man than when you're dating a woman. Everything was just moving so fast. So here we are a month later. We're moving in together. We're moving our stuff in. We're, you know, combining bills. We're kind of young. So we was doing a whole 50-50 thing. <laughs> now I'm starting to notice like over the span of time, like she's starting to do stuff that annoys me. And I'm just like, has she always been like that? Or was I blinded by the fact that I really liked her? You know, sometimes we tend to overlook certain things because it's like, damn, I really like her. Like I really fuck so it's like mm, it's bad but it's not that bad one day i finally just had enough i reached my breaking point because i'm the type of person where i feel like you need to clean as you go she's the type of person where she wants to wait till the weekend to clean and that just really was not working out for me i was doing uh -huh. all that i can you know working a job and things like that you're tired you don't want to have to come home and pick up after another adult every single day that's no, just out so that was one of our biggest things. She's like, oh, you're complaining about it, but like, I'm going to clean it. Just wait till the weekend. It's not bothering you, but it's like, I have to sleep here. I have to eat here too. I'm not used to living in filth, if you will. Gorgeous on Instagram. Waiting to clean, waiting till the weekend to clean is crazy. I'm not going to care. Um, when she steps out, oh, she steps. She's the prettiest girl in the room. I got to give her that. But I feel like in her own habitat, in her own space, in her own crib, it's not giving that. And I just can't live like that. So I finally told her, like, look, we're not renewing the lease. It's just best that we go our separate ways. And honestly, she was cool with it. Honestly, she was. Remember that. We had a talk. Everything was mutual, okay? She agreed. She's like, yeah, I'm used to doing stuff a certain way. I understand that, you know, me not cleaning is getting on your nerves. I get it. We agreed to split and go our separate ways. Don't forget that. Pin it. So, remind you, we still had, like, three months left on the lease. We still said, okay, like, look, we still going to go half on bills. We still going to treat each other, you know, with the same respect. We still going to be cordial. You know, we at this point, we are not together. We just don't want to break the lease. Back then, I was hella young, really didn't have all that money to be splitting and doing all this other stuff. And she really didn't have anywhere to go, things like that. So, okay, cool. We can still coexist. It's not that deep. We can still live together. Me, I'm waking up, going to work every day. She's doing the same thing. Something ended up happening to her car. So now we have to share a car. Very important detail in this story. We have to share a car. Now that's cool. You know, um, our schedule was, was good. You know, working like I didn't mind picking her up from work, dropping her off, or letting her use the car when she has certain things to do. It's cool. She got to be from Chicago. Up. The car off work one day and she's like mm, i gotta talk to you about something oh here we go i i gotta talk to you about something can i ask you something can we talk all that stuff right there instantly gets me anxiety i don't know about me too when i hear those words i'm just like oh, do not say we need to talk and then it'll be later now if we like i'm i'm one to be like honey so we gotta talk and but i sometimes have to reiterate it ain't about nothing crazy i just we need to talk about something but don't tell me we need to talk and then i'll talk to you about it later you know you won't <laughs> no you won't what you gonna be doing is talking about it right now you mean later what are we waiting for you didn't wait to tell me you was gonna talk to me so you gonna talk to me now hell wrong with you like what is it now she was like i want to put something in the air but i don't want to make you feel no type of way i just want to see how you feel about it so i'm like all right like let me let me hear what you got she's like i kind of want to start talking to other people kind of like dating but i don't want me to too, you in our space so i want to know like what you think about that now here's my fault because i definitely yeah, I think about it. that 
disrespect you in our space. So I want to know like dating, but I don't want to disrespect you in our space. So I want to know like what you think about that. Now, here's my, Wait, my what? let me hear what you got. She's like, I kind of want to start talking to other people kind of oh, like okay. dating, but I don't want to disrespect you in our space. So I want to know like what you think about that. Now, here's my fault because I definitely had a problem with that. I don't know why I felt some type of way, but like me being a tourist, I'm going to place your cool. So I was just like, oh, yeah, go talk to whoever you want to talk to. Be whoever you want to be with. Like, I don't care. I kid. I did. I cared a lot, actually. But yeah, you can't tell people you don't care and really care. That's going to get you in some shit. I don't know if it's just me <clears throat> being stuck in my way or something like that. I have to pretend like it's nothing like, oh, okay. So you you want to drop you off? I'll take you to that house right now. Take shit. Like, why? <laughs> she like, you sure? I'm like, yeah. And she didn't even notice. Like, I'm driving, right? And I'm, my speed just started picking up. I'm <laughs> At this point, I'm just irritated. I'm instantly, like, hot. I'm instantly thrown off. She's like, yeah, I just want to talk to you. I never would, like, just go out and talk to anybody. I want to make sure that you're respected, that you're comfortable. I don't want to do this. Or that. Shut the fuck up. You want to talk to so you want to talk to other people. We just broke up, and you already trying to, you feel me. So cool, got it out the way. Yes, it was my fault for playing it cool. I should have addressed her and told her how I really felt. But you know, me, I'm just trying to see. Now I'm really trying to see what you're trying to do. Now I'm trying to see your moves. You feel me? I'm just trying to see oh, what shit. you want. Just... Type of shit. And immediately after we had that talk, I started noticing things start changing already. Like, usually, like, she'll cook for the both of us. Now it's only one plate for her. Weird ass bitch. Then it's ah. like, okay, when she... If she was purposely not trying to clean up, like, my stuff. If I had something to clean up. Now, mind you, I've been cleaning up behind this girl since we moved in together. So, it's like, if I was to, like, leave a cup sitting out or whatever, she would just leave the cup and be like, oh, what? Well, that's your cup. Like, petty ass bitch. You feel me? Not that I was expecting for her to do anything. It's just, like, you know how, like, sometimes you just tend to notice stuff. You just don't speak. And I'm just like, hmm, okay. Like, I peep. I peep a lot of shit, but I don't say anything. Cook. <laughs> The weekend came Girl, out. Offset and uh, Cardi B still going at it. Told her, she's like, oh, we should just like stay in and have a movie night. I'm, oh, I'm going out with my people though. You feel me? Like, I'm, we finna be outside. So I can't really stay in and watch movies with you type shit. Yeah, I was still feeling that way. I'm not gonna lie. She's like, oh, okay. Well, my friend asked me if I wanted to go out, but I told them I wanted to spend time with you. But I guess I'll go out too. Yeah, I guess so. Go, go ahead. Like, do your thing. Cool. Now, my friend was coming to pick me up because, like, back then I was a crazy drinker. I did not need to be driving nobody's car, nothing like that. So she's like, can I take your car because does she want to go across town? So you know what? Go ahead. Take. I'm not going to be paid like that. Go ahead. Take my car. Have a great time. Have a grand time. I hope you have a fantastic, super cabin fashion. That's probably the kind of time I want you to have. Yeah, I was pissed, but I couldn't even show up. Okay, cool. I'm outside with my friends now. I'm not even really thinking about Tracy. You feel me? I'm just having a good time. Then Tracy texts me like, what time you plan on being home? Oh, but why? Why are you trying to clock me? Like, uh-uh, not mean? clocking me. All right. My friends don't ask me no shit like that. Do y'all friends ask y'all what time you're going to be at home? Uh-uh. Mm. I was like, I don't know why. She was like, oh, I just was here. It feels weird with you not being here. I don't know. You just need to hurry up and get home. I'm kind of scared to be at home by myself. Oh, so you at home. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I had the liquor in my system and I was kind of like, you know, missing Tracy. I'm like, dang, you know, in three months, she, we about to go our separate ways, whatever. So I told my friends like, all right, take me home. Cool. My friends, you know, dropped me off at home. I'm walking up to my door, getting my keys out. And I hear Tracy on the phone, y'all. And not just any phone, y'all. She on FaceTime with somebody. Oh. At three in the morning, I come home at three in the morning. We're not talking about why I came home at three in the morning. Mind your business. Tracy on FaceTime with somebody in our house at three o'clock in the morning. No, 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 no. Because why are you telling me to come home is my problem. That's a good screenshot. Why are you telling me to come home at 3 o'clock in the morning, but you on the phone at 3 o'clock in the morning? I was outside doing everything under the sun that had nothing to do with Jesus, and you want to tell me to come home. What's tea? And it ain't just no regular person. It ain't like no friend or family member because she's trying to be cute. All girls got that voice when y'all be like, wait, uh -huh. be so for real. That's how she talking at our house at 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. Tools in the comments. Tools in the comments are part Tooski. Okay, T. Oh, girl, smile again. I already on my know y'all about to dog me out, but before y'all dog me out, please allow me to take Tracy in the trunk. One of the most toxic things you could ever do is break up with somebody and y'all still live together. Yes. And I honestly feel like it's one of those things where it's normalized so crazy that like people are like, oh, you know, we're not together, but I still live with my ex. Like, say what? Well, mm -hmm. sad to say, I was definitely one of those people. As y'all know, me and Tracy decided to, like, you know, just be friends, whatever. But we still wanted to just go ahead and live out our lease because neither one of us wanted to pay the money to break our lease. Cool. How we just break up and you already on FaceTime with somebody at 3 o'clock in the morning, bro? Like, is you cool? Like I said, I did feel away. But me being me, am I going to say something? No. So I'm guessing she heard me trying to get my keys, like, to open the door or whatever. So she telling the person, like, oh, I'll call you back. I'll talk to you tomorrow whatever. So she opened the door for me. Damn, she that loud? I wanted loud? to say 
Why can you hear in the house like that? Outside. So bad. Honestly, I wanted to put my hands on it because I felt like you playing in my face. Like, I just told you I was on my way home. The least you could have did was like not be on the phone with somebody. Like, stop playing with me like that. But anyway, I come mm. in the crib. I just act like I didn't even know what was going on, whatever. I go take my shower. I lay down. She come in the room. She like, everything okay? Like, how was your night? Mm. It was cool. How was yours? She's like, oh, I just got a headache, so I just came home, just wanted to lay down or whatever, and I started missing you. I don't know why. Like, I know we're not together, but I was missing you. So me being me, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, cool. Like, well, I'm sleeping, so I'm finna go to sleep. Gave her ass a cold shoulder. Bam. That was Saturday. Next day come, it's Sunday fun day. She came, woke me up. Now she cooking me breakfast. This is like, she wanted me to ask her so bad, like, who that was on the phone or what was going on. But, like, my pride just would not let me. I'm just going to act like it never even happened. So, cool. She cooking me breakfast. She like, what you plan on doing today? Like, I think that maybe me and you should go and we should do something fun. I'm like, nah, I'm going out with my friends. Fuck, I'm not going nowhere with you. Okay. Yes, I was still in my feelings. And it's crazy because like the last night that I was out, girls was all on my body. But I'm like, nah, it's too soon, man. This girl just broke up. I don't want her thinking like, you feel me? I already had one in the chamber. Whopped the band. Like, I'm just steady ducking and dodging. Like, I'm just trying to keep the girls up off me. Whole time, look at you. Cool though, it's noted. So boom, I'm out Sunday, fun day with my friends, and I actually do meet somebody. We're gonna call her, we're gonna call her Jill. You know, Jill was cool. I met Jill, you know what I'm saying? Me and her instantly hit it off. The chemistry is right there. We exchange numbers, we just kicking in, we taking shots together. Okay. We get to know each other. Bam. Right. It was one of those days where y'all, me and my friends, we was out from eleven o'clock in the morning to damn near ten o'clock that night. Like it was a, a true Sunday fun day. We was just out. Ain't nothing like Sunday fun day, y'all hopping going here going there pulling up to this section whatever the case may be it was a good day though now i remember tracy telling me that her sister was gonna come pick her up so she can go braid her hair or something like that so i'm assuming that she's not home so i get into the crib and i call jill like you know what i'm saying jill was like hey it's okay if i call you because i let her know like look i'm not with my ex we just still live together i both of our names on the lease jill was very understanding kids so she was like can i call you so i call i got home i'm calling for tracy 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 tracy's not here the coast is clear i can go on the phone with jill cool me and Jill talking up a storm. I'm laying on the couch, feet kicked up. I'm in a good mood. We laughing. You know what I'm saying? We just really trying to get to know each other better. And Jill's like, okay, well, I got to get ready for, you know, my work week or whatever. I'm going to call you tomorrow. It was nice talking to you. Good night. As soon, I mean, as soon as that phone hung up, Tracy come walking from out the back room. Fuck you been at? Where were you? So you been high? So you been listening to my phone conversation? Like, what you want? She didn't ask me where, what I was doing, how I was feeling, if I need anything. The first thing she said was, who you on the phone with? Just like that, straight up and down. Now, mind y'all, I never questioned her. I never asked her who she was on the phone with. I never, I just pretended like I ain't even, you fed me. Like, so why And that's something I definitely can't do. Uh, who was you just on the phone with? And why was you so loud? And why you calling me back at three o'clock in the morning? And why, uh, hello? Are you missing me? <laughs> that's a problem for me. Yeah, Why are you asking me? I'm like, nah, we not doing that. Like, I was on the phone with who I was on the phone with, just like you be on the phone with whoever you on the phone with. I never asked you, so don't ask me. Hmm. Yo, she would not let it go. She kept saying, so you're not going to tell me who you on the phone with? So you're not going to... No. And stop asking me. It was no then. It's no now. It's going to be no the next time you ask. She was like, whatever. I already heard that you was out Sunday and fun day with some girl in your face, whatever. My friends told me they seen you out. Now, her friends are motherfucking because, like, how you going to tell your friends that we not together, we don't talk... But your friends still report back. Do y'all do that? If your friend tell you like, oh, I don't fuck with him no more. I don't fuck with her no more. Why y'all still be reporting back? In the comments, let me know. Because it don't make no sense. Y'all need to mind y'all business. So, boom. At this point, Tracy. Because she missed you for real, friend. She realizes that she's just arguing with herself because I just shut down. Like, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. The answer is still no. I'm not telling you who I was on the phone with. Don't give a fuck what your friends running back telling you. Cool. So she's like, you know what? I'm just going to go clear my mind. I want to just go to a bar with my friend, have a couple of drinks. Can I use the car? Cool, I'm still not mad. Go ahead, use the car. I don't care. Just There's no way in hell you using a car and no. And we into it now. <laughs> and you on the phone with somebody at 3 o'clock in the morning. You about to go out and suck a dick. Not on my time. Not in my car. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sucking in your own car. You want me sucking in mine? That's what damn, Joe. Whatever, just stop talking to me. I don't care what you do. Just stop. Get out of my face. Stop talking to me. So bye. So, okay, y'all, Tracy back there in the room putting on her Sunday's best. I'm talking about to go to the bar for have drink. She got done up, makeup is on, hair is laid. You know, Tracy, look, that's one thing I would never take from her. Tracy's a very gorgeous woman, but she, you know what I'm saying? She got the, the sprays, the perfume, you know what I'm saying? Ten, 10 out of 10. Okay, cool. I see. Now, y'all, Tracy left, and as soon as I heard my cop being backed out and, like, for her about to leave, she unshed the location. Like, oh, my God. What the and that's why she shouldn't have never had the car.
You knew she was on the phone with somebody else anyway. No. Immediately no. No. Be so for real, Tracy. Come on, bruh. Still, though, I didn't say anything. I didn't text. I didn't call. I'm letting Tracy do her hugest one because once I get to doing my big one, she gonna be sick to her stomach, sliding down the wall, crying me a rubber. I'm just waiting for my time and opportunity. But until now, go go off, Tracy. Do your big one, boo. Now, at this point, like, I, as soon as she left, I got off the couch. I went to bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm laying down. It's about, like, 1.30, almost 2 in the morning. And our apartment was on the first floor. So anybody that, like, parked in front of the our bedroom window, especially with their lights on, it would always wake me up, no matter what time it was. So I'm like, damn, who? Like, like y'all obviously see that y'all parked in front of the window. Turn y'all lights down. Like, I feel like they had their brights on. I'm trying to sleep because I got work in the morning. Don't know where Tracy at. It's 2 something in the morning, but okay. And that's something else I can't do right there. This is a patient person. She's a patient woman. Because what you mean, you ain't here at 2 o'clock in the morning. You got my car. You already went outside smelling good and looking good like you be looking. Okay, You was on the phone with somebody else at 3 o'clock in the morning, and now you outside sucking dick as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, no. I, I, I knew. And I still don't know where you at. Who wouldn't have been asleep as me? No. <laughs> I'm up smoking a cigarette. Don't even smoke cigarettes anymore anyway. And I'm losing my mind. Because what? Hey, we just going to let her do her biggest one. Remember, I get up and peek out the window just because like, I'm trying to see. And it's my car. Y'all, it's a man in my front seat. It's a man in the I told front you. seat of my car. It. It's a man I in the front it. seat of my car with Tracy. Tracy's in my car with a man in the front seat. And, and right, in, park, right outside in front of our house, a man that I ain't never seen before. I knew it. What's going on? Threes in the comments. She was out there sucking for money, friend. Mm, 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 mm. Sucking for money. Woo! These goddamn. <coughs> mm, mm, mm. Threes in the comments of part three, ski. I already know y'all about to dog me out, but before, one of the most toxic things, three reasons why you should never <laughs> still live with an ex after y'all break up. Don't do it. That's three. <laughs> Yo, I done let this girl, trying to be nice, you know, because her car got total or whatever. I don't want her to feel like just because we're not together no more, I want you to just sit in the house and have fun. I'm not no hater like that. I let her borrow my car to go sit I'm at the bar hater. and meet with her friends, blah, blah, like that. It's 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I look outside and it's a man. It's a male figure sitting in the front seat of my car. Do I crash out now or later? <laughs> so much stuff was going through my mind. I actually thought I was dreaming. I really <coughs> went into the bathroom, threw some water on my face. Cause I'm like, there ain't no way. It's no way. It's no way Tracy playing with me like that. For some odd reason, I wanted to call Jill. I called Jill and I woke up like, man, you will never believe what's happening right now. She's like, what? What's going on? That sleepy voice be getting me. I can't lie to ya. She had the little mm -hmm. raspy sleepy voice going on. I'm like, bro, why Tracy sitting outside of my crib in my car with a dude? It's a dude in my front seat. She like, Starion, you lying. Stop playing with me like that for real. You just woke me up for this. I'm like, bro, I am dead ass. I'm serious. Y'all, Jill's doing her best to calm me down. She's like, look, don't crash out. It's what she wants you to do. You got a lot to lose. Listen to me. She's like, promise me you're not going to do anything crazy. Just calm down and try to talk to her. But don't just do, don't let her trick you out your spot. She's going to take mm -hmm. you away from me. Like, I ain't going to lie. She was saying all the right stuff. I ain't going to cap. I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not going to let her. I'm going to calm down. I'm not going to say nothing. Because what I really want is a do, I would have been locked up. Y'all have been saying free star young. Free star young in the comments right okay. now. She like, matter of fact, just send me your location just in case. I don't know what type of time they on, but if something happens to you, I want to know where you at. So like a simp, I sent her my location. Just met the girl yesterday and already sent her my location. I know, young and dumb. You, but let's, okay, we talk about, oh, let's not get on what y'all be doing, though. A lot of y'all in the comments be spilling y'all tea too. So if y'all want to go tea for tea, we could do that. Other than that, let's move on. <laughs> so Boomski, y'all. Me and Jill really on the phone. She like, okay, look, I'm about to go back to sleep. I'm going to call you in the morning on your way to work, whatever like that. Do not do nothing, Star Young. Like, promise me, you know, tomorrow we're going to go on a date. Like, whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So now I got something to look forward to. Tracy, for real. So, yes, I didn't do nothing in that moment. Okay. Phew. Yo, Tracy came in the house drunker than a skunk. She falling all over the place. She all on me, trying to touch all on me. I'm like, bro, no, nah, I'm not on it. I laid her on the couch. She knocked out just like that. Went back to, like, look outside to see what, if the dude was still sitting in my car or not, and he was gone. So I'm like, that's weird. I just, I can't wait to bring it up, but not right now, because right now, I'm very, like, I'm very 
in my feelings about it. I don't want, you know, to go too crazy on Tracy like Jill was right. I need to calm down because I don't want to go to jail. Although I know they would love to have me up in that jail. The next day come, I get up and I get ready for work. Y'all, Tracy is so hungover. She had to call out of work. She wasn't even going to work. She was still on that couch fighting for her life, as she should. Me and Jill texting and talking the whole day. She really kind of like took my mind off for the whole thing. I'm just kind of like, you know what? Like, you right. I'm glad I was able to talk to you. You was able to calm me down because I was ready to down the hill. I was ready. I could have called the police on my damn self at that point because like, who you playing with for real? Okay. So, boom, we talking about how excited we are for our date tomorrow, everything like that. I go home with Tracy, unfortunately. And it's crazy because like that, how I walk in the house, the house is spick and span, the cleanest it's ever been. Now, mind y'all, I told you I had a problem uh, amongst other things. I had a problem. My biggest problem was her not cleaning up behind herself. She would always wait till the weekend for whatever reason so finally want to like clean and i don't like that i walked in the crib i smelled pine saw fabuloso if you know you know and it was like a home-cooked meal already out i'm just like mm, something not right i don't know what it is but i'm not falling for i sat down she like fixing my plate fixing me something to friend she was happy she went out and got some good old now here's the thing about a woman that has been with a woman for some they missed that sensation and was missing that sensation anyway so they get out, get some of that meat, and then be happy. It's like, but I'm back to my lesbian. Because they don't really want the nigga. They just want the most of the time. So then it's like, oh, I got what I needed to get. Let me go back to my bitch. Oh. Oh. Something to drink or whatever. She's like, I got to ask you something. Oh, here we go. Well, but since we asking shit, I got something to ask you too. But go ahead. Go first. I'm like, what's up? She walk back in the room. I'm like, okay, this is weird. She's not saying that. She come back out with a big ass bouquet of flowers. She's like, why is somebody named Jill sending you flowers? <gasps> she sent me flowers, y'all. I didn't know. So I'm like, that was smooth. That's why you asked for my location. So like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I was shocked. I was like, wait, what? She was like, don't act stupid. I'm not acting stupid. I'm just shocked. I didn't think that she would send me flowers. I didn't know. At the same time, I'm like, Jill, you petty for that. Now, I told you I still live with my ex. Why are you sending flowers to my crib? Tell me. Like, nah, Whoa. I like I like how she did what she did. Be cool for real. So we instantly get to arguing. She's like, "You so low down. You so disrespectful." I'm like, "Me? I'm disrespectful. I'm disrespectful, y'all." She really calling me disrespectful. Is she cool? I'm like, okay, let's talk about it. I'm disrespectful, but you sitting outside of our crib with a whole man in a car. Like, what the fuck? You're disrespectful. You're more than I should put my hands on you. Okay. I got up, y'all. I started walking towards Tracy because, like, at this point, my anger is starting to take over me. I feel myself blacking out. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but all I know, her ass is grass. Okay. She's like, what? That's crazy. You know, that's my cousin. What the hell? I was too drunk at the bar. My cousin seen me, and he was like, no, I'm not letting you drive. And so, out of respect for you, I didn't want him driving your car, so I let him ride with me. His friend trailed me. So, when we got to the crib, we was sitting outside talking or whatever and then he got in the car with his friend and they left oh <laughs> your cut oh and it's so crazy that as soon as she said it was her cousin i was like like reflecting on the dude like get, getting a picture of him in my head i'm like dang that is her cousin she introduced us once upon a time oh yeah now what and honestly, I blame y'all. Y'all in the comments hyping me up. You need to do this. You need to do that. Oh, I was this. I was this. And it's her fucking cousin, y'all. <sighs> she instantly ran off to the back room just crying. I'm just, I felt so, I felt horrible, y'all. It's her cousin. Did all that trip and I did all that. I was about to cry. I was this close to crashing out. And it's her cousin. Y'all, she crying. She wouldn't stop crying. I finally walked back there to the back room and I'm just like, look. Was I'm it really her cousin? I don't believe that shit. Sorry, I you right. I should have addressed it as a as the tourist that I am. I don't like to address it. I just like to even the scope. Sorry about that. All my tourists know, gang. What up, gang? What up, gang? Y'all, she keep crying. I'm trying to console her. All of a sudden, I go from consoling her. We get to kissing and doing other grown folks stuff. Like, how do we end up here? We're what? <laughs> Not consoling each other to make up sex. We're broken up. Why are we doing this? And at the back of my head, I still think like, man, I still got a date with Jill tomorrow. I'm still going. <sighs> Foles in the comments report. Fosky gang. Drop the foes in the comments report. One of the most toxic things. My ex sneaking in my trunk to pop out on me and my new boo was something I was not prepared for. Oh Definitely my not God. Her. And honestly, now that I think about it, it's not even like her to do that type of stuff at all, for real. But it's always them ones. Always the ones that's like, no, I would never do that. That's too crazy. I would just walk away. I would just leave you alone. Y'all on my radar. You ain't slick. Y'all ain't low. Let's get into it, shall we? So, boom. Yes, I was toxic. Yes, me and my ex had messed around. Ugh. The night before, it was time to go on my date with Jill. Was I still going on that date with Jill? Like I said, yes, nothing was going to stop me. Because after all, we were still broken up, right? 
Yeah. So boom, we messed around. We slept together, holding each other all nights. Oh, I'm never gonna leave you. Whatever, all that other stuff. When we both know, it's oh, we just waiting on the lease. When the lease end, we both go our separate ways. But you know, sometimes you gotta think in the plot. You know, you gotta do it for the plot. So boom, it's the date of the date with Jill, y'all. I woke up smitten, you know. I'm at work speaking to everybody. I'm doing everybody's job. It's just a great day to be me, you know. <laughs> Remember how um Norbert was on the Norbert movie when he had a date with was it Kate? And he wasn't even really stunned numbers. Bitch was doing that was me. I'm Norbert right now. You feel me? And Jill is Kate. You dig? So boom, Jill telling me like, you know what? Just come to my house. Like I want to drive you around. I want to cater to you, y'all. This is just day three of me talking to Jill. Look how she coming. Second day, she sent flowers to my house. Third day, she's telling me, like, look, just come over to my house. I want to show you around. I want to drive. I want to take you out to dinner. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to love day, you, girl. Get y'all a Jill. I'm telling you. And if you got you one, don't leave her alone. Or him. Jill, Jane, Joe. Oh, if you got you a Joe. Uh, I guess. So, boom. I get done. Get off work. I get home, you know. And again, y'all, Tracy is just like, look, tonight, let's just spend time with each other. Let's not so her. Hold on, hold on. I got somewhere I, I got to be. I got something I need to do. We can't cuddle up. What happened last night can't happen again, unfortunately, for you. She like, where are you going? I'm trying to kind of avoid the question because, like, I don't want to lie. But then again, I don't want to be like, I'm about to go on a date. Because it's still, y'all know how that is. A lot of y'all in the comments, I see that y'all understand where I'm coming from with the whole still living with your ex, even though y'all not together. <laughs> thing. Like, I wasn't just trying to be too disrespectful. They both was definitely needing that. Although I should have. But boom, you know me. Now it's my turn to put on my Sunday's best. You feel me? I'm got I got fit from the head to the toe. You feel me? I'm spraying on that good. Yeah, that that costs a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I I'm looking good. I'm that costs a lot of money. I'm ready for my day. Y'all, Tracy just standing in the bathroom doorway looking like a sick, sad puppy. But remember when it was your time to be all out and about doing your thing? I was clapping for you, Tracy. I was happy for you. I really was. I really wasn't. But still, you don't you don't know that. I'm gonna make it seem like I was happy for she you. She ain't true. Trip. I ain't say nothing to you. I'll let you do your big one, big mama. <laughs> big mama. I'm really trying to pair her no mom. I'm proceeding to get ready. She like, all right, I really got something I want to tell you. I'm tired of you telling me stuff. I'm tired of you asking me stuff. Tracy, what do you want? What more do you want from me, broski? Because you broke down. We ain't together. What's up, gang? Twinsky? Fuck on. What you, what you want? She like, I just want you to know no matter what, even though we breaking up, I'm going to always be here for you. I still see us getting back together in the future. We just got to work out a little kinks. You know, we still young. We got a lot of time. I can always see us finding our way back to each other. I can always see us, you know, still being together, all this other stuff. Tracy, please. <laughs> she like, well, before you leave, I'm going to get some out the car, whatever. Tracy, let it go. <laughs> I told her, like, yeah, go ahead, get the keys or whatever. But, you know, I'm driving because I want to drive to my boo. As my boo said, my boo telling me what to do. She like, yeah, drive. You drive to me and you can put that motherfucking part. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, Tracy, get my keys. Walk outside. I'm not knowing what she doing outside. I'm not knowing what the ever the case may be. Some, I'm like, okay, but it's, it's starting to take too long. But I do see my keys is, like, right on a, on a dining table. So, I just grab my keys, get in the car, and go. Never did I think this girl. Ain't no way. Yo, Tracy! Try I say Trey Trace Let me let me look at my car and see if this bitch in the back. I'm this paranoid. See this bitch in the back seat. Let me look in the. <laughs> you in my trunk. <laughs> girl, I would have caught on the trunk before we left. Before I left. Step leave. This girl let my trunk up, came and returned my keys, went back outside, got in my trunk, and closed it. That's I never crazy. Do that. So, boomski, I'm ready for my date. I pull up to Jill's house. Jill looking crazy. scrum dilly umptious. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay, you showing me a different side. A Sunday fun day, she was like a little, you know, whatever. But now we're going on a date. And she, yeah, she that girl. You know what I'm saying? She her for real. Yeah, yeah. We're going to date y'all. We having a marvelous time. We ain't nothing but giggles and flirting. We laughing. <laughs> Not on a date, flirting and giggling. And this is a child in the trunk. You feel me? That's all What we was do. the weather like? Was it hot outside? Like, how you just sit in a trunk like that? And I'm just like, okay, cool. She really cool. I'm really glad I took a chance on that. <laughs> the I neighbors was probably, no, I know this bitch. This bitch just got in the trunk and closed. <laughs> Did you see that? She just got in the trunk and closed. Oh, man. She about to mess up somebody day. Honestly, I was like, you know, I got too much going on right now, Jill. I don't really want to talk. She was like, no, I definitely understand. <laughs> okay, cool. She like, all right, let's go to my house for a nightcap. 
Now, mind y'all, my car is sitting outside Jill's crib this whole time. I've been in the car with Jill. Oh. Me and Jill been out, you know, having a great little dinner date, whatever. Wait. Y'all can't even no. begin to imagine oh. my ex sneaking in my trunk to pop out on me. And my I'm looking good. I'm smelling good. I'm feeling good. Hold on, y'all. I never knew that. So, boom, ski. I'm ready for my date. I pull up. Hold I've been on. in the car with Jill. Me and Jill been out, you know. Y'all, this heifer been sitting in the trunk at Jill house the whole time. Oh. You a different type of crazy. I can't stand for my knee to be bent too long sitting in anywhere. And you just in a trunk? That bit crazy. She crazy as hell. Oh, having a great little dinner day, whatever. Now we back at Jill's crib. Cute. As soon as we walk in, it's like a scene off the movies. We can keep our hands off of each other. We tripping over stuff. You know, <laughs> it's getting really, really hot. You know what I'm saying? This was like, oh, okay. You know, I told y'all all the drinking and all the flirting. We was on the same type time. Type shit. She grabbing on me, pushing on me towards her bedroom. You know what I'm saying? We all over the bed, rumbling and bumbling and all that other good stuff. It's like, I know we needed a moment, but it's like, I felt like I heard the door open. Because you know what I'm saying? It's quiet. It's no music. It's just us and the sounds that we make. You feel me? I'm like, damn, am I tripping or somebody just come through that door? I'm like, nah, you know, she know her crazy. Not she came through the door. Or, oh, because you know what I'm saying? It's quiet, it's no music, it's just us and the sounds that we make. You feel me? I'm like, damn, am I tripping or somebody just come through that door? I'm like, nah, you know, she know her crazy. She, she would have said something, whatever, could. Next thing you know, I look up and all I hear is really starting on, for real? What? Tracy? Fives in the comments. Fives in the comments what? of part 50. You got to rap Tracy on. Y'all can't even begin to imagine the feeling I had sitting there making out, doing all this other stuff with my new I am invested. But when my ex is literally standing in her doorway in her house. What? I was speaking. That's crazy. I couldn't even get my words out. I just kept on saying, Tracy? As if I, like, Tracy? I couldn't even, Tracy? And it was also weird, too, because, like, she was literally just standing there. I'm thinking, like, you done did all of that. You supposed to be in here getting active or something. Y'all, she just standing there crying and study saying, really, starry young? Really, starry young? Really, starry young? Really, starry young? Oh. Really, starry young? Oh. Really, starry young? Like, oh. okay. Oh. Jill grabbed my face. I looked at Jill. Jill said, you have approximately 30 seconds to get this out of my house or it's going down. Like, oh, wow. Thank you for the courtesy. 30 seconds. You know, most people would have, you know what I'm saying? But I really appreciate You must really fucking you. Okay, um, let me get Tracy out of your house for real. It's like mm -hmm. Tracy snapped out her trance. It was like, oh, I'm not going nowhere. Fuck you talk. Like, Tracy, you inside this girl's house. How you come to jail house to tell her you're not going nowhere? She could have called the police on you, bro. Leave. Call the police. Girl, you could have been Glock 19. Like, girl, can you imagine you with your boo, y'all like, uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, hell no. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? I would have been like, my first question would have been like, how the fuck you get in here? How did you get in here? That's number one. Number two, y'all trying to set me up or something? I know y'all ain't trying to set me up. Okay. And number three would have been like, you got to uh, uh, to get the hell up out of here, girl. Or you not be able to leave. I'm like, Tracy, nobody said nothing when you was all out doing all of this. And yes, we are in front of Jill. We're going back and forth in front of Jill at this point. I had already told Jill all the tea, so she just kind of saying back, whatever. So I'm like, nobody told, nobody said nothing to you when you was all out 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And then I remember I came home at 3 in the morning, you was on the phone with somebody. Yo, this girl said, and I quote, she was like, I was on the phone with nobody but my friend. I was just trying to make you mad to see if you was going to fight for our relationship. Huh? <laughs> oh, so you... <laughs> So, okay. So I, I fell for the okie doke again. So it was your cousin in the car. One nobody was dealing with. And then when you knew I was coming home at three in the morning, you pretending like you was on the phone with one of your friends to see if I was going to get mad or something. I just <laughs> talk about, even if so, I'm like, Tracy, look, we already said we was going to, you know, you the one that told me that you want to start talking to other people, dating other people. And I said, cool. I never got in the, in the way of you doing anything that you wanted to do. So why are you here? Why are you with me? So we study arguing, Jill, like, listen, y'all could do that down downstairs or here or there. Get this girl out of my house. And how you even know where I live at anyway? Right. So we walking outside because I'm like kind of pushing Tracy out the house because her and Jill, they argue. They going back and forth. And Jill just like, out of respect for you, Starry, and I'm not going to do it unless she, if she touched me, it's going down. But out of respect for you, just get her out of my house. So I'm pushing Tracy outside and I noticed the trunk of my car up. Like, you didn't. So you, you running the trunk. So, and you been in the trunk for that? Ah. Oh. 
Not gonna lie, the determination did turn you on just a little bit. But no, that's crazy. Tracy, you're psychotic, bro. What are you on for real? What are you doing? Me and Tracy outside still arguing. We still going back and forth. And I'm just like, look, I'm not leaving. And since you're here, though, you can get my car. You can drive back home or drive wherever you want to. But I'm not leaving this girl's house. Like, stop. You're making yourself look crazy right now. She kept saying, okay, all right, bet. I got something for you. I got something for you. And honestly, like, me knowing Tracy for the time, I'm like, this girl, she always said she got something that hands be empty. She never have nothing. So it's like, okay, you ain't scaring me. She stepped my keys out my hand, got in my car, and irked off. I went back upstairs with Jill, and after that, it was kind of awkward. Jill was like, so let's talk about what just happened. She was still being a good sport about it. She was just saying how, like, she's not for the drama. Like, it's cool when me and Tracy have our own stuff going on. But Tracy literally ended up inside this girl's house on some... Who, who would have known what Tracy could have been doing or, or what Tracy could have been on or, you know, whatever the case may yeah, be. Yeah, that's Luckily crazy. for her, Tracy was just all bark, no bite that night. Me and Drew was just Netflix and chilling or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? It's kind of time for me to go. She's like, okay, well, now it's my turn to drop you off at your crib. Okay, cool. We driving back to my crib. We having car karaoke. Everything's good. Everything. Wait, so Shorty just went back home and that y'all just... <sighs> then he pulled up to my crib and it's just like, hmm, something looks different. All the lights was on for whatever reason. I can see all the lights was on because all the blinds have been like snatched down and it's nothing <laughs> inside my crib. Yo, Tracy cleaned me. She gutted me. One, like one, one in the jet. A fish. Everything. I'm talking about it won a piece of tissue in that mop. Everything was gone. She even, the only thing that was in there was a little note that said, have fun paying rent by yourself or an actual new Jill to do it since she want to do everything else. Not going to lie. She ate that. We got to give it to her. Chat. She ate that. Come on now. She did. In that moment, I was trying to act like I didn't care about y'all. So much stuff I worked hard for. So much stuff that was legally mine. She took everything. And it matter, I think I was only at jail house probably like four more hours when she popped up. Like, I wasn't even over there, in my opinion, for that long for her to even, like, clean me out like that. She was like, I don't like the fact that she feel like she got the one up on you or whatever. And then she called me on my name. So I would have never trusted Tracy to just go home. I'm gonna do for you i'm gonna pay for your when you break your lease and she's like also we're gonna move in together now should i have moved in with jill after only knowing her for three days no did i yeah i mean at this point i'm young water free i mean what do i got to lose you feel me i what was y'all expecting for me to do just staying at a back then i really couldn't afford it by myself you know what I'm saying? i was very very young i was just starting out with everything like that and i had the opportunity to not pay anything at all and move in with somebody that's just like look i'm gonna pay all the bills all i want you to do is exist and we can learn to love each other so you telling me you'll say no yo jill took nah. me shopping was buying me all type of clothes shoes i mean she made sure because like i said tracy literally took everything inside the house stuff that belonged to me everything she took i literally had nothing but the clothes on my back like <laughs> And thought she was just going to take my car, hide it out. But, um, excuse me, yes, officer, I would like to report a missing car. Yeah. Child, not stole the car, too. I, I really do. Went to go pick up my car from Tracy, and I was with Jill. Jill dropped me off. And then, and only then, Tracy was around her cousin and felt like she wanted to pop it. Oh, get out the car. Oh, get out the I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do that to you. You better not let me catch you. Ah, give me my fucking keys, girl. It's over. We're done. You're good. Honestly, y'all, me and Jill, we had like a pretty good health relationship about that. We was together for a little minute. Everything was working out. Everything was cool. Honestly, in my opinion, I made the right move. The more time I was spending with Jill and being with Jill, the more I realized, bro, Tracy wasn't putting in any effort into the relationship. I'm not going to say she didn't like me for real because, I mean, I, apparently she had feelings you sneak into my trunk. But it was just like, uh -huh. it's so crazy how you can go from being with somebody that like does things a certain way or is a certain way and you get with somebody else and it's like, dang, you make the whole world brand new. Like, this is how it should be done. This is how I want to be treated. Tracy kept sending me all types of threads, um, you know, DMs and fake pages and she's going to do this and how I'm wrong about this and I'm wrong about that. But y'all, really, for real, who in the wrong? Me or Tracy? And be very clear in the comments because this is my account, not Tracy's. If y'all want more story times, y'all got to let me know. What happened? I think what happened in Vegas is Tracy was dead ass wrong. Coming up next. Or maybe the time I got set up. Or. No, nah, y'all not ready for that story time. Drop ones in the comments. Tell me what y'all want to know. Tell me what y'all want to hear. Y'all can't even begin to imagine the feeling I... Child, let me tell y'all something. Tracy, baby, daddy got a... He said something like that on Friday. Y'all... Tracy crazy as hell, quite frankly. And I don't think her elevator go all the way up. And, you know... I just wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have sat in no trunk. I wouldn't have got in the trunk. Nothing. You just never know what you would do, but mm, that's a bit much. I ain't sitting in no trunk or laying in no trunk or whatever you want to call in the trunk. 
for uh, I, I, I have to think that long. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.